Hiranyagarbha, Wikipedia Audio Hira, Yagarbha is the source of the creation of universe or the manifested cosmos in Vedic philosophy, as well as an avatar of Vishnu in the Bhagavata Purana. It finds mention in one hymn of the Rigveda, known as the Hira, Yagarbha Supta, suggesting a single creator deity, identified in the hymn as Prajapati. The concept of the golden womb is again mentioned in the Vishvakarman Sukta. The Upanishad calls it the soul of the universe or Brahman, and elaborates that Hira, Yagarbha floated around in emptiness and the darkness of the non-existence for about a year, and then broke into two halves which formed the Svarga and the P, Thvi. In classical Pura, I see Hinduism, Hira, Yagarbha is the term used in the Vedanta for the Creator. Hira, Yagarbha is also Brahma, so called because he was born from a golden egg, while the Mahabharata calls it the manifest. Creation Hira, Yagarbha is also a sacrifice, where it is known as Hira, Yagarbha Yagna. This sacrifice was performed by the founder of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, Danta Durga, to confer Kshatriyahood on himself, as he was not born a Kshatriya, and in olden days, the caste system in India was very prevalent and he was not accepted by the people as their king, until he conferred Kshatriyahood upon himself. Some classical yoga traditions consider Hira, Yagarbha as the originator of yoga, though this may also be a name for Rishi Kapila. Advaita, Vishishtadvaita, Dvaita Vedanta, Badabheta, Dvaitadvaita, Akintyabheta Abhita, Shadadvaita. Vedanta Matsya Pura, a gives an account of initial creation. After Mahapralaya, the great dissolution of the universe, there was darkness everywhere. Everything was in a state of sleep. There was nothing, either moving or static. Then Svayamhu, self-manifested being arose, which is a form beyond senses. It created the primordial waters first and established the seed of creation into it. The seed turned into a golden womb, Hira, Yagarbha. Then Svayamhu entered in the egg. The Nereya, a supta exclaims that everything that is, visible or invisible, all this is pervaded by Nereya, a within and without. The Isvara Upani, Ad says that the universe is pervaded by Isvara, who is both within and without it. He is the moving and the unmoving, he is far and near. He is within all these and without all these. The Vedanta Sutra further states that Brahman is that from whom this universe proceeds, in whom it subsists, and to whom, in the end, it returns. The S.A. Kya school holds that there are only two primary principles, Puru, A and Prak, T.I and creation is only a manifestation or evolution of the constituents of Prak, T.I. due to the action of Puru, A.S. Consciousness. The Bhagavata states that Nareya, A alone was in the beginning, who was the pious of principles of creation, sustenance and dissolution, the supreme Hari, multi-headed, multi-eyed, multi-footed, multi-armed, multi-limbed. This was the supreme seed of all creation, subtler than the subtlest, greater than the greatest, larger than the largest, and more magnificent than even the best of all things, more powerful, than even the wind and all the gods, more resplendent than the sun and the moon, and more internal than even the mind and the intellect. He is the creator, the supreme. The term can also mean as he who, having become first the creator, has come to be considered as the womb of all objects. Hira, Yagarbha Sukta The Hira, 
Ye Garbha Sukta of the Rigveda declares that God manifested himself in the beginning as the creator of the universe, encompassing all things, including everything within himself, the collective totality, as it were, of the whole of creation, animating it as the supreme intelligence. Hira, Ye Garbha Samavartatagra Bhutasya Jata Patir Kasada S.A. Dadhara P. V. Dhyamudama Kasme I. Devaya Havi, Avidhima Ya Atmata Balada Yajya Vyava Upasate Prazi, A. Yajyadava, Yajya Chayam, Ta Yajya Martyu Kasme I. Devaya Havi, Avidhima Ye Pra, Adonimai Ado Mahitvaka Idraja Jagato Bhabhuva, Ya Ise Asiad Vipadasketu, Pada Kasme I Devaya Havi, Avid Hima Yasyam Himavantu Mahitva Yashya Samadra Ray Saya Sahayu, Yasyama Paradiso Yashya Bahu Kasme I Devaya Havi, Avid Hima Yena De Yorugra Parthivi Cadar Hayena Sava Satabhada Yenanika, Yoantarak, Irajasovimana Kasme I Devaya Havi, Avidhima Ye Karn Desayavasa Taste of Hain Abhyaik, Ada Manasari Jamini, Yatradi Sura Udato Vibhatai Kasme I Devaya Havi, Avidhima Apo Hayata Barhatir Visvamayana Garba Dadhana Jana Yanti Ragnima, Tato Devana Same Vardata Surka, Kasme I Devaya Havi, Avidhima Yasita Pomahina Peri Apajiata Dok, A eh? Dadhana Jana Yantir Yajanima, Yodiv, Vati Deva Eka Asita Kasme Devaya Havi, Avidhima Ma no hai, sajanadaye. Parthivya yo va diva, satya dharma hajana, yaska paskandra barhatir jajana kasme i devaya havi, avidhima. Parajapate na tavadatanyan yo vayava jaitani pari tabobhuva, yadkamast juhumastana no istavaya. Sayama patayarei, ama. In the beginning was the divinity in his splendor, manifested as the sole lord of land, skies, water, space, and that beneath and he upheld the earth and the heavens. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? It is that who bestows soul force and vigor, whose guidance all men invoke, the devas invoke whose shadow is immortal life and death. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? It is that who by his greatness became the one king of the breathing and the seeing, who is the lord of man and bird and beast. Sanskrit verse Translation in English Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? Citations it is that through whose glory the snow-clad mountains rose, and the ocean spread with the river, they say. His arms are the quarters of the sky. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? It is that through whom the heaven is strong and the earth firm, who has steadied the light and the sky's vault, and measured out the sphere of clouds in the mid-region. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offering? It is that to whom heaven and earth, placed in the light by his grace, look up, radiant with the mind while over them the sun, rising, brightly shines. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? When the mighty waters came, carrying the universal germ, producing the flame of life, then dwelt there in harmony the one spirit of the Devas. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? 
it is that who in its might surveyed the waters, conferring skill and creating worship, that, the God of gods, the one and only one. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? Mother of the world, may that not destroy us who with truth as his law made the heavens and produced waters, vast and beautiful. Who is the deity we shall worship with our offerings? Lord of creation. No one other than thee pervades all these that have come into being. May that be ours, for which our prayers rise, may we be masters of many treasures. Ralph T. H. Griffith 1. Hiranye Garba was present at the beginning, when born, he was the sole lord of created beings, he upheld this earth and heaven. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 2. Who is the giver of soul, the giver of strength, whose commands all, even the gods obey, whose shadow is immortality, whose is death? Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 3. Who, by his greatness, has verily become the sole king of the breathing and seeing world? who rules over this aggregate of two-footed and four-footed beings. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 4. Through whose greatness these snow-clad, whose property men call the ocean with the rivers, whose are these quarters of space, whose are the two arms. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 5. By whom the sky was made profound and the earth solid, by whom heaven and the solar sphere were fixed, who was the measure of the water in the firmament. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the divine Ka. 6. Whom heaven and earth established by his protection, and, shining brightly, regarded with their mind, in whom the risen sun shines forth. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 7. When the vast waters overspread the universe containing the germ and giving birth to Agni, then was produced the one breath of the gods. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the Divine Ka. 8. He who by his might beheld the waters all around containing the creative power and giving birth to sacrifice, he who among the gods was the one supreme God. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the divine Ka. 9. May he do us no harm who is the parent of the earth, or who the unerring support begot the heaven, and who generated the vast and delightful waters. Let us offer worship with an ablation to the divine Ka. 10. No other than thou, Prajapati, hast given existence to all these beings, may that object of our desires for which we sacrifice to thee be ours, may we be the possessors of riches.